In this question, we are dealing with speed. So we are likely to use the equation speed equals distance divided by time. However, we are also being asked a comparative question. Therefore, sufficient information to answer this question could come in one of two forms. It could come in the form of complete information or in information that is incomplete, but which contains what we need in order to determine the comparison in question. Let's go on to the answer choices, which we look at first separately. Statement one defines the time runner A took to run the track in terms of the time it took runner B, but we don't know that latter quantity. So statement one is insufficient. Next, we look at statement two alone. It gives us runner B's speed, which allows us to calculate runner B's time based on the length of the track but we want the time for runner A. When we look at statement two alone, we have no information about how to relate this knowledge about runner B to runner A. So statement two is insufficient. Combining the statements, we have what we need. Runner A's time in terms of runner B's time, and secondly, runner B's time. So the statements are sufficient together. The correct answer is C.